50 years ago this month, Muhammad Ali, known as Cassius Clay at the time, defeated Sonny Liston. Uh, it was February 25th, 1964 in Miami. Uh, so, you know, it was just the beginning of Ali being introduced into American culture. Uh, and so the significance at the time uh, may have not been as great, but today, looking back on it and looking at the significance of Muhammad Ali's life and career, uh, the significance of these gloves, uh, again, can't be overstated. There's no doubt. These were the tools of the trade. I mean, these were the gloves that were on Muhammad Ali's hands uh, when he he was a heavy underdog uh, going into the bout against Sonny Liston. Um, boxing was the most popular sport along with horse racing in the first half of the 20th century. Uh, so, you know, we're looking at 1964 here. Uh, and and the, the eyes of the nation were really on this bout. And, and these came from the trainer, Angelo Dundee. He actually uh, provided a, a, a signed letter of provenance and had pictures of him holding them uh, back in around 2010. Uh, they've also got uh, writing on, on the interior of the gloves that was originally put there after the fight. So you can see Clay, February 25th, KO, Liston, and then Angelo Dundee signed below that. Uh, so we're, we're expecting to see him go for more than half a million. Uh, and two years ago, uh, some of Ali's gloves in a charity auction, his, the gloves that he used to fight uh, Patterson, actually sold for over $1.1 million in Las Vegas. So uh, the precedent has been set for these type of artifacts to do quite well at auction. They can look silly, yeah. just dancing around, and he just looked like, you know, kind of. I mean, getting into a ring, George Foreman in his heyday was a 